Hello everyone, it's good to see you again. It's Jin Teacher coming to you from Reading Town. Let's take a look at today's article. The title of our article is Discovery of Ancient Aztec Temple and Ball Court. So ancient means from a long time ago and Aztec is a group of people. So they found, uh, discovery means that they found something that is uh, from the Aztec people and it's a temple and a ball court. A ball court is usually where they play a game, right? So today we have basketball courts or tennis courts, but a ball court is where they played a type of game that we'll find out about here today. So let's take a look at today's article. It says, the remains of an Aztec temple and ball court have been discovered in Mexico City. So where have they found this? In Mexico City uh, and it's a temple and a ball court and discover means to have found. Right? So it says, the Aztecs existed in Mexico since the 1400s and were the dominant group from 1425 to 1521 AD. So they've been there for a long time. Existed means they've lived there uh, in Mexico since the 1400s. So it's been about uh, 700, 600 years ago. Okay? And were their dominant group. So they were the most powerful or the most uh, number of people there. And there were many groups there, but they were the biggest or the strongest. And from uh, 1425 to 1521 AD. The Aztec capital city of Tenochtitlan was conquered by the Spanish in 1521. And they built Mexico City over the structures of the demolished city. So there was a capital city of the Aztec people. And this capital city was called Tenochtitlan and it was conquered by the Spanish, meaning the Spanish people came over from Europe and from Spain and they uh, took over uh, the city of the Aztecs. And in 1521, they started building the new city, which is still here today, Mexico City, and they built it on top of the structures or the buildings that were there of the demolished city. So demolished means broken down, destroyed. So when the Spanish people came, they destroyed the city uh, of Tenochtitlan, which was the capital city of the Aztec people. And once they took over that part, they built their new city, which is Mexico City, on top of the old city. Notably, the Spanish built cathedrals and churches over many temples. So notably means something that we need to pay attention to, or most noticeably, something that we can see, uh, is the Spanish people, they built cathedrals and churches uh, churches and cathedrals are buildings where we worship God and they built that over many temples. So the Aztec people, they worship many different kinds of gods and they worship them in their temples. And we've seen different temples like in Egypt or places in the Middle East where they look kind of like a pyramid. Uh, but in South America, their temples sometimes look like a pyramid, but it looked like kind of like a castle a little bit. So they took over and they built cathedrals and churches on top of those things over the demolished or the broken down temples. The next paragraph says, since then, earthquakes and other incidents have brought discoveries of the old cities. So after they built these churches and these uh, cathedrals, there have been many earthquakes and many other um, po uh, problems or incidents. And because of that, they're able to find out other things that were hidden below uh, these new buildings. So, after the extensive excavations, archaeologists announced that they have found remains of an Aztec ball court and a temple on a street behind the Met Metropolitan Cathedral. So Metropolitan means the large city. So one of the, the cathedrals or the churches that are built on, uh, in a very busy city, they found after extensive excavation, extensive means very detailed, right? So they did it over a long period of time and they did it very carefully. And excavations means they're digging things out to study something that was hidden below or studying something from the past. So after digging and digging and digging for a long period of time, archaeologists, the scientists who study old history, uh, they announced that they have found remains. So they found something that was left behind or left over, something that was very old of an Aztec ball court and a temple where currently right now uh, there is a large cathedral or a church uh, in the city. They also uncovered the neck bones of 32 people. So as they were digging around this metropolitan cathedral, this new church, 
They found many different things, an old temple, things that remind them or, or have proven that there was an old temple. And they've also found a ball court and now even 32 uh, neck bones, all right, or neck bones, the bones that we find in our neck of 32 people. So there were people buried under there. The dig confirms the accounts of the first Spanish chroniclers to visit uh, Tenochtitlan. So uh, there were accounts or stories written, uh, recorded, and it confirms meaning it proves that it's true. So it's saying that it was true what was written by the first Spanish chroniclers. So chroniclers are people who record things like historians. They're people who write down uh, what they see, what they uh, experienced. So all of these things that they found in the dig, in the new excavations, they're saying that what was written from the first people who visited, the first Spanish people who visited, it proves that it was true, it was right. So Diego uh, Prieto, the head of Mexico's main anthropology and history, uh, history institute said, due to the finds like these, we can show actual locations, the positioning and dimensions of each one of the structures first described in the Chronicles. So uh, the head of Mexico's main anthropology and history institute, so that means he's the person in charge of the group anthropology that they studied the ancient history. Uh, they, Diego Prieto, he says that because they have found these evidences, these facts, as they dig, they show, they can prove that they find where the actual temples were and they can check it with the old records. Uh, so the positioning, that means where they were. Dimensions, meaning how tall, how wide, how big, what materials were used of each one of the structures first described in the Chronicles. So when the Spanish people first went there uh, to where the Aztec people lived, to right now where Mexico City is, when the first Spanish uh, discoverers or explorers went there, uh, in 1521, when they wrote all these things down, they weren't sure because so many of the things changed. There's no more temples now and the ball courts all disappeared. But these, uh, these people had written about it, these chroniclers, when they first went there. So now, uh, when they found these ruins or these pieces left behind as they were starting to dig or excavate, they found that, you know what, those people who wrote about it, they were correct. Uh, and now we have proof. So this is very interesting of an ancient civilization uh, that was in a sense wiped out and a new civilization was built on top of it. But now because of these excavations or digging and searching, we know that this was a real fact. So very interesting. That's uh, news that was discovered in Mexico City of an ancient uh, civilization. Let's take a look at today's uh, comprehension questions and this is a picture of the excavation. They're digging it out and they're finding that there's many things under the ground where the new structures or the cathedrals or churches were built on top of. So this is kind of looking at under the ground as you're digging it out. So it says here, since when did the Aztec civilization exist? So we said it was hundreds of years ago. Do you remember how many hundreds of years ago? And the actual year was around the 1400s, right? So it's a little over 600 years ago. What was the capital city of the Aztecs? So it's kind of hard to pronounce. It starts with uh, a T. So let's look at the, the correct answer and it's Tenochtitlan. Okay, so that was the capital city of the people, uh, of the Aztec people. Now that's where Mexico City is. So what country conquered or took over the Aztec capital city in 1521? Was it the Europeans? Did we say it was the English people? Was it uh, the Italians? We talked about them and we said it was the Spanish people. So it was the country of Spain. So the, the country of Spain sent all these explorers and they found what is today Mexico City and they conquered it for the country of Spain okay, as a colony. Let's look at the first question and fill in the blank correctly. It says, uh, the remains of an Aztec temple and ball court have been something in Mexico City. So they found what about the temple and the ball court? They have found if something is left over, right? And they have discovered it, that means they have found it, right? So they have been discovered in Mexico City. Let's look at part B, it says, notably, the Spanish built something and churches over many temples. We talked about this, right? Churches is where Christians worship God. And there's another building that a lot of Catholics, Catholics believe and worship God. So that uh, place of worship is called 
cathedrals, right? So they found cathedrals and churches. They built it, cathedrals and churches, over these old ruins. Since then, Blank and other incidents have brought discoveries of the old city. So since the old times, when they started building the cathedrals and the churches, what have caused them to be able to discover some of the things under the ground? We said there's other incidents, other events, right? Maybe like wars or uh, just because of the weather, a lot of things have been broken and they're able to see it, but something else, a natural event. So since then, earthquakes and other incidents have brought discoveries of the old city. So over time, we get to learn more about ancient history. So we get to learn about people who lived hundreds and hundreds of years ago, and we get to find them out because of the work of uh, these people who excavate, who are finding out, uh, these anthropologists, these people who are digging to find more about the history, and we get to find very cool and interesting things. Uh, and it's been said that people in, uh, the Aztec people have played these games, these ball games, and it would be very entertaining, but at the same time, it would involve life and death situations as well. So very interesting that they found an actual ball court. We know that they have temples, and now we know exactly where they are. So these are very interesting discoveries, and we know that there are more to come because anthropology has become a very popular uh, field of study for many people. So we get to see more.